Hey guys, Rob Bush here. It's been in the garage playing around with the window motor and decided I wanted to change some things to be more precise in timing. And uh, what I thought I'd do is actually put an Arduino in control of it. So the first thing I did is I, I tried to use the coil, the trigger coils inside of the coil to uh, trigger it. Um, I was just having some really bad back feeding problems and so forth. So what I ended up doing is I went and got some Hall Effect switches and uh, made a little magnetic plate here, three magnets, about should be about 60 degrees off. Um, what this is doing is it's only actually firing the motor three times around. It's not uh, six, which it could be, and I'll show you why here in a second. But right now all we're using is a uh, half of a uh, sequential bipolar circuit. Um, it's nothing just to add another one to the other side and double up all this stuff. But for testing purposes, um, I'm just doing it with a half circuit. And I'll show you exactly, it's a really easy modification to put the Arduino in control. We're using an optical isolator to drive the motor. The Hall Effect is powered and sensed by the Arduino. So everything is separated from the actual window motor circuit itself. But what we got here is the optical isolator. And in a typical, in the regular schematic how it is before, you have the trigger coil attached to an NPN transistor which fires the two to create a pulse and then the opposite for the other way. So we're just looking at this half. So all I've done is I've taken out this transistor that used to be triggered by the trigger coil and that NPN is now the opto isolator. So the uh, LED in the opto isolator turns this NPN on and off allowing power to transfer through the circuit in the coil. Now the advantages of this are that uh, I can now control exactly how much time the motor's on and pulsed and um, eventually I'm going to add uh, some cap capacitor charge and discharge circuits to uh, keep itself running but the idea is uh, you got to have some really good timing control over this to get it to do it and I thought what a better way than to uh, put an Arduino uh, in control I'm not by any means a good coder uh, I'm just learning but uh, it was very basic code to get it this far I am making some plans on uh, writing I'm writing some better stuff and learning as I go but uh, certainly would uh, offer the code to anybody who is really wanting to look at it and try it out um, but uh, the other thing I've got going on here is a uh, sensor shield. This is uh, version 4 and it allows me to plug in uh, because I had these wires with the buckled connectors I just went ahead and used uh, what is commonly is, are the analog outputs but uh, I'm using them in a digital output fashion which can be done no problem. Um, I'm working on some wires to connect the actual digital pins here and use those and I'd like to incorporate the uh, LCD with the key shield and I'd be able to adjust these timings that are going on between the trigger coming in and the drive going out. What I'll do is I'll uh, go ahead and plug it in. We got wall power here from uh, just a power inverter that uh, is rated for 12 volts at like 2 amps and uh, but typically with this it gets up to about 15 amps or 15 volts because the amperage is so low on the draw side but like any other typical Bendini motor you gotta kinda give it a start and uh, the first thing we'll notice I didn't show you that it was off before but you can see it flickering with the motor this is a 120 volt uh, 5 watt LED incandescent replacement bulb for your house and uh, this is a byproduct of the radiant collection coming back through the circuit. Now typically this would be sent to a, a capacitor or a battery directly or so, so forth but uh, it has to be hooked up to something otherwise the transistors get to 
a hard grunt of it, so this kind of helps save the transistors. But uh, you can see it's getting up to speed kind of quickly. Um, certainly would like to be able to play with the different timings and so forth, and I bet I could increase it a little more. Um, I do have a little tack strip. Um, it runs at the 15 volts, uh, right about 1810 RPM, which is an ideal RPM to work with. And uh, come around here and see the plate and the Hall effect switch. Another key thing in here is uh, typically uh, when you wire a Hall switch like this, in the instructions it shows using a, a pull up resistor on the data line. And uh, fortunately, with the Arduino and the co code that I'm working with, um, that can be set in the code just to uh, pull that wire up with some internal resistors. So uh, it's, a qu it's pretty much a, a three wire hookup. You've got red, white, and black coming out of the Arduino, and it represents the same on the, uh, the hall switch red being power black being ground and white is your digital and the Arduino is actually using internal resistors to pull that up so you don't have to use the resistor in line here but uh, spins up really nice it's pretty quiet I'm pretty impressed with it but uh, there's also plenty of other wire out here to play with I've been playing with uh, whether I've got like a couple different coils in there and I've tried series and parallel and each give me something a little different but uh, obviously the main idea right now is uh, to get the uh, the code written so I can actually make adjustments on the fly instead of unplugging it taking it to the computer and blah 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 um, so that's the motor running from the Arduino with some radiant output hitting that light um, the other thing I wanted to share that uh, I'm not going to brag too much about are some of uh, these air batteries that I've been making. Or what I've got is uh, in a film container, the 35 millimeter film container. Um, I've started with a quarter inch diameter rod of aluminum that I got laying around here. And uh, let's see if I can put this somewhere better to show you. And then I'm just wrapping it first with a roll of a layer of paper towel and then uh, some copper wire that the insulation has been taken off of. And the whole thing, once it's moistened, produces on average about 0.6 volts. So right now I've made about 24 of them. Um, I've got, it was about 14 volts. Um, I've lit up some LEDs. Uh, I, ideally, I don't really want to brag about it until the uh, the window motor is running with these batteries or something so of the sort. It needs to have some kind of some real output per se. But uh, still playing around with these every once in a while here, trying to uh, see what we can do with different materials and so forth. But this is raw bush, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.